Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about matrices, but specifically raising matrices to a power. So if you had a matrix and you want to know what the, if you raised it to the third power, how would you do that? Well, this is how we're going to do it. Um, so right now, this problem we're going to do is going to, whoop, this problem we're going to do um, is going to show all the possible exponents you could do and how to make a formula for that. Um, so whatever power you want to raise the uh, matrix 2, you can do that by using this formula, and you can get that for each, for every matrix you want uh, to use. So it's kind of a pretty cool process. So we're going to find the formulas that show all values of m to the n power. So um, another way to write this, you can write m as s lambda s inverse, but you can write that um, because of the diagonalization, uh, the n power is distributed on the eigenvalues um, for lambda. So uh, let's calculate the eigenvalues. So, you know, determine a minus lambda i equals zero. Um, go your basic roundabout way of uh, calculating the determinant, do the uh, determinant of that. And then solve for lambda. You should get lambda 1 equals 9 and lambda 2 equals 8. Um, and that will be your diagonalization matrix. Uh, now, let's find what the eigenvectors are. So, um, we by the way, how I get this matrix is you, in case you forgot, um, you take 9, so 10 minus 9 is 1, and then 7 minus 9 is negative 2, use that part in the blue over there. Um, then you solve for your corresponding eigenvector, I solved it using algebra, we could also row reduce, um, you should get x2 is equal to 1 half x1, then you pick a special solution, I picked 1, or 2 for x1, and then um, x2 comes out as 1. Then we do... Um, the second eigenvalue again, plug in 8, so 10 minus 2, 10 minus 8 is 2, 7 minus 8 is negative 1, um, then solve for the eigenvector. Um, you should get x1 equal x2, which is the same as x2 is equal, equals x1, so I'm going to pick a simple solution here of just 1, 1, because um, you're going to pick your values here for the special solution. And then, um, let's see what we have right now. So, uh, this is what we're going for, right? Well, we have our S now. It's just combining the two special solutions into one matrix. And we have our diagonalization matrix. And that's going to be raised to the nth power. Like I said, when you're defining a matrix and raising it to a power, the um, eigenvalues are those that are get affected um, by the raised exponent. And then you multiply it all out to get the uh, matrix that you're looking for. But we still need to find S inverse. So let's do that over here. Um, so S inverse, uh, just using your 2 by 2 basic inverse uh, formula, you should get 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2. Uh, plug that in there, and I'll just do that right now. Um, and now all you got to do is multiply um, across. So multiply these two matrices first. You should get 2 times 9 to the nth, 8 to the nth, 9, 8 to the nth. Um, then you still got your inverse S. And multiply that once again. Remember row times column. Um, you should get two, uh, yeah, so you should just get these values here. Um, and now it's really cool. So if I want to raise m to the third power, I just plug in wherever I see um, an, uh, n, I plug in the number three, and then you can get what the matrix would be raised to the third power instead of multiplying uh, m times m times m. And you could do this m to the thousand, and it would be like a shortcut, right? So this is like super cool, super effective um, in doing that. So I could put wherever I see an n, I put in a thousand, the number a thousand there, or whatever number you want um, that you need for your matrix calculation. So this is a super effective way of doing so. Um, hope this video helped and good luck studying.